Good morning, YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie, and my channel here on YouTube is Be Carried Away. I'm a sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time reseller. I primarily thrift, but I also do some garage sales, some online auctions, and some estate sales. So I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. This is going to be a what's sold video. What's sold videos are my favorite videos to watch. I feel like I learn the most uh, very quickly from other resellers. And so these are my sales. I'm going back in time. I'm trying to catch up really from October 24th through the end of November on eBay only. So I do sell on the other platforms. This is gonna be what's sold on eBay. I'll do hard goods as well as um, clothing and shoes and a little bit of everything. So stay tuned for some good information. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you my new foster to adopt dog, Wiley, who will hopefully be making a few appearances here and there in my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for finding me and to my regular subscribers, thank you so much for coming back for yet another um, reseller content video. And I hope to connect with you here and over on Instagram as well. Thanks everybody and good luck to thrifting. Okay, so I'm going back 90 days. So I'm starting from October 24th through November 24th. Let's see what's sold. Okay, the first item is this paperback accidental dragon. I haven't sold a lot of books lately, but I do want to get back into it. That's how I started as a bookseller. And this only went for $8.99, so starting out low. Next was a Christmas sweater. I did call it an ugly Christmas sweater, but it was Angora wool and it was from the 80s with lots of bling. So it wasn't really quite the typical ugly sweater, but I did put that word in there because people do search for them. And it was really actually a quite beautiful sweater. It sold for $25.99 plus the buyer did pay shipping. Next was this uh, antique composition baby doll, and this was old antique. I paid $6.99 for this at the thrift store. I didn't know much about it. I put it up as a an auction at first. It sold on auction for $20 some dollars, but the buyer never paid. So I listed it at $32 and it sold quickly full price. Buyer also paid shipping. Next are a pair of Ariat black leather safety toe clogs. So these had the steel toe. They sold for $29.99 and I paid $5.99 for those at my thrift store. Next is a um, brand that I do like to pick up called Sack Roots. If it's in good condition, it's kind of a boho, um, really pretty floral sorts of designs. And um, this was called Artist Circle Spirit Desert. It was a zip around wallet. I paid $1.99 for that and I sold it for $19, excuse me, and 49 cents plus the buyer paid shipping. Next is an area I'm trying to get into. I'm not really um, well versed in plush, but I've been watching lots of YouTubers and I have been picking up some plush. So I paid $1.99 for this very large 25 inch Minnie Mouse. She was a stand up porch greeter for Halloween as a witch and I uh, sold that for $22.49. The buyer was all in for $36.44. Next, a great sale. These are vintage paint by number paintings. And if you do find vintage paint by number paintings, I highly recommend picking them up with two really important um, pieces of information. One, they need to be in good condition. You really need to have someone who took the time to paint them carefully. So sloppily painted ones really don't go for very much money. And also certain topics go for more than others. So these were the swans and blue heron, uh, tropical birds go for a lot, pink flamingos, Hawaii. So any sort of tropical themes go very well as well as animals and um, dogs, cats in particular. These sold for $89.25 and I paid $4.99 for the pair. The buyer was all in for $116.52. Next was a pair of Michael Kors boots that I picked up for $8.99 at my thrift store, uh, the Salvation Army, and they were um, sold for $56.25. Four cents. That was on a sale. I had a sale running at that point when they were purchased and the buyer was all in for $71.64. So Michael Kors boots are always a pickup if I get them low enough and if they are in good enough condition. Next was a, a nursery item, a vintage um, wall 
uh, light switch plate cover and I sold that for just $12.99. Buyer was all in for $17.24. Next, a pair of Vionics. Vionics is a great brand of shoe to pick up. They're very expensive and they are orthopedic. They're comfort shoes. So lots of people are looking for them secondhand. These were sneakers. So uh, they went for $31.99. I paid $5.99 for these. The buyer was all in for $41.90. Definitely take a look at Bionics if you find them. Next, another pair of Michael Kors shoes. These were brand new at my thrift store. I paid $7.99 for these and the buyer paid $44.99. She was all in for $56.83. These are, um, you know, you can always look at shoes and see if they have the actual name. Usually it's a woman's name of the style. So look very carefully inside the shoe. If you're not a shoe seller, this is a really good tip. Sometimes the style will be an actual name. So these were called the Julieta. Michael Kors Julieta. There were heels, uh, pumps, and the style with the cutouts, one of the sides is sort of cut out, as you can see, so the side of your foot will actually show is called a Dorsey heel. So um, <clears throat> this is another tip. If you don't know a lot about shoes, somebody might be looking for that particular style of Dorsey, and so you can find charts and all kinds of things that'll tell you what kind of heel or what kind of shoe that you have. So you can usually Google that uh, information. Next was a um, mug that I did show in uh, the Bolo Buddies. This is my Bolo video. These are really fun videos where a whole group of resellers get together and pick something that was a be on the lookout Bolo item. And uh, we all share together in one of Courtney's Bolo Buddies videos. So this I shared over there. It was a New Jersey graphic mug by the company 222 fifth and it's called the my place mug um it was new jersey state i bought that for 3.99 i believe and i sold it for 39.99 buyer was all in for 52 dollars and 37 cents so if you see those state mugs they're a great one to pick up next is a chaps which is from Ralph Lauren. It's not the high end of Ralph Lauren, it's the lower end, but it was brand new with tags and it was a 2X, so women's size, a larger size. They generally sell much better. So I paid uh, $3.99 for that. I sold it for $29.95. The buyer was all in for $39.06. Next, a vintage purse, and this did have the um, Brand name inside the bag, which always helps. It was by Lemurd, L-U-M-U-R-E-D. And it was a rhinestone kiss lock. So when they open, like, you know, you twist it open, that's called a kiss lock. That's a great word to put in. People do look for kiss lock bags. It was vintage 1950s. I bought that for $1.99 and I sold it for $28.99 with the buyer all in for $39.04. Next, wonderful brand of shoes. If you're not into shoes or you're trying to get into shoes, if you see Born, this is a very high-end, expensive brand that people do look for um, secondhand. So I bought these for $4.99. These were a casual Oxford lace-up shoe in a women's size 10, which is a great size, and I sold those for $29.50. Buyer was all in for just a little bit over $40. Next was another brand that I like to pick up called uh, Chico's, and Chico's linen in particular is very well sought after in the secondary market. I paid $1.99 for this, and it was 100% linen sleeveless tunic. Login look is the word that you want to put in. It means layered. It's a German word for a kind of baggy, layered, Diane Keaton sort of clothing. And I sold it for $27. The buyer was all in for $36.52. Next, a Woolrich Women's Blue Heather hoodie. Basic bread and butter sale. I purchased that for um, $2.99. I sold it for $18. Buyer was all in for a little over $28. Woolrich is a standard brand that I love to pick up. Next, Eddie Bauer Crew Neck. Um, Cotton acrylic ski sweater. You always want to put in the word ski sweater when it has the, any kind of, um, you know, winter theme, snowflakes, anything like that. And uh, it was a men's large tall, which is probably why I picked this one up. Not all Eddie Bauer sweaters sell um, that great. I paid $2 for this. It sold for $20 and the buyer was all in for $25.95. 
Next, new with tags. Love to find things new with tags at the thrift store. I paid $3.99 for this. It was Talbot. I do pick up a lot of Talbots. Um, it sells very well for me if it's in great condition and particularly if it's new. This sold for $38.99. Buyer was all in for $48.64. This was merino wool made in Italy. So those are keywords that you do want to put in. Merino wool is very high quality, very fine, very soft wool. Next, the North Face, a great brand to pick up in certain styles and um, in good condition. It's a little bit saturated because everybody knows that North Face is a great brand, but it does sell. I paid $7.99 for this jacket. It's called the Denali Polar Tech Fleece, and it was a men's size medium, which isn't the easiest to sell. Usually the men's larger sizes go better, but I did sell that for $45.99, and the buyer was all in for $62.09. Next, this beautiful blue Jewish um, art glass dish by Naharia. This was featured in one of my haul videos. It was handmade in I Israel by Andreas Meyer. It had deer on it and it was Judaica. I paid uh, $2.99 for this, I believe. I don't have it marked here, but it sold for $29.99 and the buyer was all in for $40.45. And now a Pendleton skirt, like Woolrich Pendleton is always a pickup for me if it's in good condition and a nice piece. This was a red uh, tartan plaid wool skirt. I did look up the type of plaid. So there are charts, again, that you can look up. It's easy enough to find the, the particular type of plaid. And that does help, um, I think, in your in your title, in your keywords to know what kind you have. So this was called Red Manson tartan plaid and this sold for $42.99 the buyer was all in for $53.44 and I paid just $4.99 for that beautiful skirt. Next a pair of earthies these were um, by Anthropology from the store Anthropology. Anthropology is a very popular store with lots of brands sold within the store. So there are lists of, again, um, all the brands that are sold within Anthropology stores. A very saturated market, so you don't expect to get a lot sometimes for certain pieces, but I did pay just $2.99 and sold these for $19. And I did do free shipping on that, which is very, very rare, but they weren't really selling and I wanted to move them. So the buyer was all in for just $19.74. Next, a beautiful bag that I paid $2.99 for at the thrift store. This was a 1960s floral um, handbag, fabric bag by Margaret Smith Gardner. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, by Margaret Smith, and she's uh, in Gardner, Maine. That was all on the inside of the bag, luckily, so I was able to look her up, look up comps for this particular style, and I sold it for $38.99. Buyer was all in for $50.23. So this is what eBay and reselling is all about. You buy something for $2.99 with a little bit of tax, and you find a buyer who's willing to pay over $50 for that item. Next, a very, very long tail sale. I, it took forever to sell. It was a hard color to photograph. I think that was one reason. Um, it was by Montgomery Wards, a 1970s vest cardigan sweater. I sold it for $10 because I just wanted to move it. I had it probably two and a half or three years. Next, a uh, very small, very obscure um, um, Christmas tree ornament that sold November 10th, just before Christmas. It was a Russian ballet uh, called Fokine, the Russian Fokine Ballet. Very unusual. It was dated 2010. I paid 49 cents for it, but I thought, you know, out there in the world somewhere is somebody who's going to want or know about the Russian Fokine dance group. And sure enough, it sold for $14.99. Buyer was all in for a little over $20. Next, a pair of vintage thermal underwear. These were in pink. These were, um, I put leggings, but they were really actual waffle weave thermal underwear. They sold for $25. I paid 99 cents for those, and uh, they were made in the USA. Made in the USA always um, indicates that something is vintage. So if you see that on the tag, it's most likely vintage. Um, it's a confirmation that it's vintage. If you think that it might be and you see made in USA, that's a really good key. So $25, buyer all in for $29.50. Next, a somewhat long tail item. This took a while to sell. It was a brand new with tags, 
uh, black computer laptop bag by Im Imago, 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 I'm not sure. Um, Karim Rashad design, $28.99. Buyer was, this was an international sale to Canada, so the buyer was all in for $65.99. Next, a beautiful coat that was featured in my um, Always Check the Black Coat Aisle video. It's a very short, one of my first videos where I talk about the importance of if you want to make big sales, look at the black coat aisle. It's always sort of, you know, um, looked over by people it's a hard aisle to go through heavy black coats but you'll find some gems in there and i did find this for four dollars and i think it was four dollars was half price seven seven ninety nine half price i paid four dollars and i sold it for ninety one dollars the buyer was all in for one hundred and seven dollars and six cents this was by bromley in new york and it had persian curly lamb wool um if you see that curly black vintage um wool very popular and um, that sold for a great price. Next, Prana. Prana is a great brand as well. Um, doesn't go for a huge amount, but certain sizes and certain styles will. So this was a really nice um, heather gold color sweatshirt, very oversized and a size large. I paid $3.99 for that and sold it for $26.99. Buyer all in for $36.46. Next, a, um, another category that I don't know a lot about, but I'm starting to kind of get into a little bit, and that's toys. I watch Bolo Buddies. I watch a number of other people who um, sell toys, and these are PJ Masks lot figures. So I was able to just very simply, using a Google search, Google image search, figure out who they were and put all of those um, character names in the title, and they did sell for $16.99. Buyer was all in for $18. 50 and I paid $1.99 for the lot of those. Next, a, a small bread and butter sale, but it was an Italy mohair wool uh, uh, vintage necktie, men's ties. Men's ties are, are a hard sale. They don't go for a lot. There are lots of them sold, but if I see a really nice one or a, a great brand, I will pick it up once in a while. So 99 cents turned into 9.99. Buyer was all in for just under $16. Next, a pair of American Eagle Outfitters black faux suede booties. I don't pick up a lot of American Eagle, but if you look at the stats on Poshmark, for example, American Eagle is the number one brand sold over on that platform. So I don't always pick it up, but I did pick up these booties for $3.99. I sold them for $18.99, buyer all in for $27.74. Next is Zara. Now Zara is a brand, an interesting brand. A lot of people don't pick up Zara, but my uh, Salvation Army, Army recently had a, an entire cache of new with tags items that had come in. So I'm assuming they were probably donated by the local Zara, Zara store. And so because these items were new with tags, I did pay up a little bit for them. I paid $9.99 for this denim distressed, really distressed, ripped up jacket and it was new with tags with no damage. So I did sell that for $64.99 and the buyer was all in for $80.88. Next, my first ever pair of Fry. Fry is a great brand for boots, cowboy boots, leather shoes. Um, they weren't in anything fabulous, they were just sneakers, but um, I paid just $5.99 for them and I sold them for $39.99, buyer all in for $50.81. Next, Eileen Fisher. I love Eileen Fisher. I watch a reseller called Courtney over, um, her name is Courtney, her channel is called Common Tags, Common Tags Reseller, and she is out in California and loves Eileen Fisher. She's always picking it up, and so I've started picking it up, and I do really well with Eileen Fisher. So this was a sleeveless Italian wool sweater. I paid $2.99 and sold it for $28.99. Buyer was all in for $38.52. Next, a 1980s Levi's jacket. Now this required some research on my part. Of course, I knew it was a vintage Levi's jacket, but when you do find something like this, you wanna make sure that you're doing your research so that you can get the full value out of the item. And I looked up, um, just a Google search, I looked up types of trucker Levi's jackets and I realized that this was, or learned that this was a type three. It has to do with the style and the pockets and the age and that it was um, probably from the late 1980s. So I was able to take a $5.99 sale and turn it into an $89.99 sale. 
the buyer was all in for $106.44. Always research Levi's like that. Next, a great pair of Uggs. Now, these are the classic Cardi. Again, you can you know, take those pair of Uggs, put them into Google image search and um, find out the style name. So these were called the classic Cardi, as in cardigan, because they look like a sweater button up with the real sheepskin gray slipper boots. I purchased these for $7.99 and sold them for $59.99. Buyer was all in for $71.65. Next, my experiment into plush. And um, this took a while to sell. It was a vintage Dakin or Dakin, uh, 1973, dated on the tush tag Mountain Goat. So very unusual um, ram. There were several of them listed and uh, mine sold for $20. The buyer was all in for $33. I paid $1.99 for that ram. Next, another uh, plush, but this one was animated and animated items tend to do much better. This I bought for $1.99 at the Salvation Army. It was working perfectly. She sang, her eyes lit up, um, and I sold her for $49.99. Buyer was all in for $64.68. Next, a pair of... Um, these were these are an interesting sale so these were uh like fishing pants trousers sport pants they were a nylon weather gear they looked like sailing pants the brand was called atlantis and i knew that they were vintage when i did my research on them so i don't just list something it's just atlantis i'm gonna look it up and i found that atlantis was a brand made by timberland so if you put in Timberland, of course you're going to get more hits because Timberland is well known. So I was able to turn that $1.99 sale into a $21.99 sale and the buyer was all in for $30.75. Next, a pair of Club Monaco. Club Monaco is a very high-end brand. It's expensive, does pretty well on the secondary market. These shoes were originally $335. They were in great condition. Um, they were slingback booties, so a really unusual style and shape. And I was able to turn $4.99 into $50. The buyer was all in for $62.70, and they were also a thrift store Salvation Army purchase. Next is a Calvin Klein jacket. This was in beautiful condition. I listed this as new without tags. It really looked like it had never been worn nor washed, but it didn't have tags on it. It was a size extra small, but it was a metallic zipper puffer down coat. And um, I picked that up for $6.99 at my thrift store and it sold for $52.99. The buyer was all in for $58.94. It was very, very lightweight. Next, a vintage 1990s Ralph Lauren crop top. This was a sweater, but with spaghetti straps and some embroidered floral on it. Really, really pretty. I paid $1.99 for that. I might have even paid 99 cents. I think that was half price. Um, and I sold it for $29.99. Buyer was all in for $37.36. Next, a pair of Skeletos. These are skeleton shoes. Now, some brands go for more than others. Some go for $50, $60, $70. This was by Fila, and these were women's size six. They were hiking water shoes, and I sold them for $25.99 with free shipping. So they didn't go for as much, but I would always recommend to pick up skeleton toe type shoes. Uh, I paid $2.99 for those. Next is a pair of Enzo Angiolini, and this is a brand that I pick up occasionally, not always. It's not a highly sought after brand. It's a very good quality shoe, um, so it all depends on the condition and the style. These were a gray metallic leather, uh, smoking loafer they were called, and um, flats, that's another word to use. Now the style name again was inside the shoe, it was called the Leone. So I picked these up for $3.99 and sold them for $22.99. Buyer was all in for $33.03. So just a real bread and butter sale on those. Next, a men's vintage retro shirt. This was such a fun sale. This is what I love about vintage clothing. I paid $2.99 for this shirt. This was a stretchy nylon and it was from this, about the 60s and 70s retro with a pocket on the front, an olive and navy striped shirt. I uh, sold this for $45. So that to me, that's like a perfect flip of just a, a that's a, 
kind of a vintage bread and butter flip. $45 buyer was all in for $53.57. And they're never gonna run into somebody with that same shirt on. It's like only on eBay, only on Poshmark and online resellers are you gonna find those really cool vintage items. Next, Lane Bryant, which is a good bread and butter sale, uh, plus size clothing. This was brand new with tags, which is probably the reason that I picked it up for 99 cents. And I sold it for $15.99. The buyer was all in for $23.92. And um, finally, a vintage Woolrich women's sweater. It was a size small. It had this horse with an, a horn, an equestrian, uh, kind of a fox hunt um, style. I paid $2.99 for that and sold it for $29.99. Buyer was all in for $39.98. Okay, guys, here comes Wiley. There he is. He knows I have a treat. We're working on sit, so he's already sat. Wiley's deaf, so I'm using sign language with him. So, okay, ready? Sit. Okay, stay. So I'm doing a hand signal. Stay. We're working on stay. Stay. Oh, so hard. Let's try sit again. Come on, sit. Good. Stay. Stay. And come on, good. Whoop, <laughs> a little bit of my fingers there. And there he is, doing so good. Good boy. Say hi to everybody, Wiley. Good. 